Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a sculpting thing I have discovered some days ago. And also that you can press window and toggle full screen mode so you can be in full screen mode, yes. Now, sculpting doesn't really work with a cube that only has this many vertices. So you subdivide it, like, I'm just going to type in this, and then it will set to 100, and then you will subdivide it again, and set it to 3. And I'm just going to wait, because my computer doesn't like me, and then it, it is a very orange. Then you press tab again to get out of it, and now you have a very, very subdivided cube. You go into the sculpting tab, and I've already been in here. So you start up here with this, you scroll down and say cloth. Now, what cloth does is this. It makes it look like cloth. And this is very cool, because now you have this. I re recommend shade smooth. but if you look closely, it doesn't really look that good. I found out that this slight relax actually helps with kind of smoothing, smoothing it out. Like if you, for example, take a large amount and kind of drag it like that, you have a big glitch right there and it kind of looks a little too much. You can just kind of do this around it, and it will look better. You can keep doing it, until it's how you like it. You see, it kind of looks a lot better. I don't know why this works, it just does, so be happy. Now you can look from the camera, so how it's gonna look. So you can kind of pull in this right there, and you can pull it in. Yes. You can also use, uh, I'm just gonna put a little ladle down, like that. You can, for example, take the elastic deform, you can pull it out, like that. And then you can take the cloth, then you can kind of do that. So it's say Kind of like a stretchy thing, it's stretched out. Now you have that, and you take this, and you kind of go over it like this, smoothing it out. Now with these glitches right here, I just do this until it's gone, and then it's gone. See? Perfect. You see all these squares? That's why I use this slide relax. So now you have a cool little bump there. You can make a bump up here. You can kind of bump it out with the bump. Kind of like this. And you can take the claw. You can pull it like that, up into it. Yeah, it has a limited range, so if you take it too much, you can kind of do a little, little something. I don't recommend doing that. Only in the corners. I sometimes do it in the corners because, uh, oh, on the edges, because then you can get a kind of like that look. Things look. I think it looks kind of more like a pillow, if you do like that. So you can kind of do a little... Little dilly down, little dilly down, dilly down, dilly down, dilly down, dilly down, dilly down, And then you get a little something like that, and then it's a little something like that. You can take this and you can kind of... Smooth it out. 
a little bit. The shop it just go get something clean. Now this I don't like, so we just gonna do this until something happens. Yeah, this is where you're just gonna go over it again and again. Kind of takes a little bit of time, just a little, but it's, it's worth it if you don't like all those anomalies. Okay, so now we have a cool looking thing. Yes, I don't know what this does. Yes, I can. Oh no. I also experimented with the rotate. Took something, rotated. Then I took the uh, the mask. I think I did this. And it looks cool. It makes kind of little symbolies. I take this and you select the place. You kind of rotate it. Not too much, just a little. And then you take the mask, paint over it. Yeah, you see, I did it too much here. It kind of looks cool still. So you can go out and you can. Select the place you want to rotate, you can select right here, and you can rotate it. If you keep rotating it, it keeps rotating, rotating, yeah. And then you can do this over it, and you get a cool... Hmm. I don't know why any of this works, but hear me out, it does. So that's all that matters. So now you have your thing here. You can render this in both EV and cycles. Um, really does not matter. Uh, is I just render it in cycles because I uh, I like the black body lighting, but. We can do it in E just for this tutorial. Just remember these. Okay, and we're going to select the light. Now we move it over this way and like kind of like right there. And then let's go into the shading workspace. Select this, make it metallic. Now we have a metallic cube. So kind of looks like metal because it's metallic. Yes, makes sense. Like, this looks like metal, but if you don't want it to look like metal, you can do like another color, you can make it kind of piece of cloth somehow. Take a muskrat, not a mushroom, and you can plug it in to uh, let's go, base color. And you get this, which is definitely not what we want. And roughness up because I haven't seen any very shiny cloth. Also, uh, Node Wrangler add on, edit preferences add ons, and then search for Node Wrangler. And that's how you do it. Okay, put the normal. No, put the update. Up it. So you get this and scale. No, detail first, dimension down, and look primarily to 1.6. And then I'll scale it down. Kinda doesn't really look like anything. You take a color in, plug it in right there, so you have more control of the colors. If you can. See, more black equals more black. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna select two colors that we like. I'm just gonna select a little darkish right there. And for this one, I'm gonna select a light one of the. Doesn't really look like it because you can see shadows. 
going to render. Mm, I didn't like maybe into the roughness too. I really don't know how to shade properly. So now I have a, uh, a large pillow square, and you can kind of shift a and at a spot, yeah, an area like Control C, move it down, rotate it on the X or in all this Y axis, and do that. Kind of, kind of scale it up. Boop. And we're gonna put this up to 100 and select a kind of warm light, maybe, maybe 250. Oh no, no, maybe 500, maybe five foot. Perfect, exactly what I want. Yes. <laughs> That was not too much. Another area light. Take this, move it up on the Z, scale it up. Kind of like that. And maybe set it to like 25. No, 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 no. 25. No, no, no. I can't even. Okay, and then select another color that you like, maybe a kind of kind of little bluish light like that. And now that I'm looking at it, we can kind of zoom in like this, move it up on the set. Kind of make it like a an alien landscape. Kinda like that, and we can take uh, the background and we can do black because we do not like anything else than black. And then you see we have a kind of little alien landscape. We can also kind move this back a little to get more of that detail. If you want to do that, you can also not do that and zoom out again and move it down again. Zoom out, zoom out again. Uh, never mind. Okay. This is how it looks right now. And you can assign any material to this that you want. So let's make another slot. Remove this one. Make a new material. And let's make an actual metallic material. And I take the roughness a little down. So we have this. And that looks cool too. I just recommend a little like maybe the area light should be bigger for this one and have more power and like that I also recommend if you're gonna make uh, it metallic put some more lights around it and I'm just gonna no And kind of select the color. I'm kind of just doing little what I want. Okay, so now we have a thing. Um, I'm just gonna move another light over here. Okay, so now we have a cube. And with this cube, we are gonna just uh, render it. 
Also, the reason I use cycles is because we can denoise it. Um, so let's just cycles, and uh, this is fine. Settings. We can just go down here, denoising data, and set up a little compositing. Use notes. Shift A and um, a denoise. Hey, oh no, I use a glare note sometimes. Glare note. Put the noisy image into the image of the denoise. Same with the no denoising normal and alberto. Put it into the glare note and put this finally into the composite. Okay, so now let's render the image. And it's gonna render the image. Yeah. Nice. You can also view the rendering right here. So it's just gonna render. And that is very cool. Because we love rendering. Yes, I'm gonna come back when this rendering is done. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, it has rendered and something I forgot to say is uh, set this from streaks to fog glow to get this fog glow right here. For example. You see it looks fine. Uh, this is kind of weird, but if this is what you want, you can just go with it. Uh, if you want kind of more of the so-called, oh my god. If you want more cloth to be sculpted, you can just kind of, kind of, kind of little bit down, kind of. Do this. Take. It will take a little bit of time on my computer because it is very bad. It is a very old computer. It is a potato, if you want to call it that. Yes. I'm just gonna. If, if the screen gets black, that is because it is loading or lagging, whatever you would call it. Yes. Okay. So we're just gonna do this. Maybe zoom out a little just to get the all kind of fine tune. I'm not gonna render it again, it's just you can do this if you want so it has more of te more texture. But um, this tutorial wasn't really a tutorial, it was much more of a video of me exploring the cloth sculpty loopty. So now you have this and um, something else that we can do. It's very cool, I'm gonna hide this for now. You can put in a cube and we can um, tap subdivide. Hundred percent. Oop, all the way up. Fifty. Boom. Cube. Cube. Now, a s little sphere. Okay. Now this sphere, we're gonna do a little something with this, which is called collision. And then we're gonna make a plane, and we're gonna move it up, and we're gonna scale it, and then we're gonna subdivide it a freaking ton, ah, all the way up. Oh, that's not enough. Hundred. Oh wait, that isn't enough. Okay. Um. Boom. Take that computer. I know you hate me. Boom. Very subdivided. Now we take. See right here, cloth. This will just do. 
So it is a cloth simulation. So if you go in here, we can. It will slowly, very slowly actually, render each frame by frame. Oh my god, my computer hates me. Zero point. 18 FPS perfect yeah I don't think I'm gonna do this my computer can't oh 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 no space stop it no I'm sorry computer stop stop <laughs> I'm just yeah okay it stopped this is done you can save it if you want, I'm not gonna save it. But I think that was everything for this video. Uh, really, I would really appreciate feedback on all of the videos I do. Because I'm not very used to making YouTube videos. I'm not very good at it. Actually, I'm very bad at it. So if, you, if anyone would like to help me do this. Oh no. Please, please just, please do it, please. Boop. Yeah, it would greatly appreciate it. And also, if you could just kind of subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. <coughs> okay. Because if you enjoyed, you probably enjoyed, which makes sense if I do say so myself. So, yeah, it it will really mean a lot to me if you would do that. But yes, I will see you in the next video. Um, yeah, video suggestions too, because I have absolutely no idea what to do. Uh, if you want Among Us, I can do that. If you want anything else than Among Us, I can maybe do that. Blender, yes. Uh, Minecraft, yes. Terraria again, yes. I can do it all, almost, almost. <laughs> ah, no, but I will see you in the next video for the fifth time. I have said that now or something. But yes, bye. And uh, this is a very weird outro because it's not an outro. An outro. Sorry, I cannot even speak. Bye.